Right, so here is your options for the paper center. So the first choice is to make a paper puppet. So we have our folded paper puppets, which is the giraffe one, and we have our moving paper puppet, which is in this Harry Potter one. So the moving one is moving with these brass fasteners, and then our folded, it's where we're folding and using glue. So if you don't remember how to put these together, make sure you watch this blue Click this little blue little words, and it'll take you to a video. So here are some examples of both. Then you could also make your own paper puppet. So using just paper and colored pencils, um, here's an example that I did. If you need to know how to make your own, watch this video. So click these blue little words by the question mark and watch the video about how to make your own. So it'll be a quick one just explaining how I made this um, little cat. Here are some examples of making your own. And you will use colored pencils or crayons to color this. So the supplies for the paper center is right below the paper table. So if we look in the cabinet, we have our brass fastener and hole punch. So this is for our movable paper puppets. We need those brass fasteners. Then we will also need the hole punch. Here is where you'll find any of the pages to color. And here's for the movable ones. And then if you want to make your own, you're going to need just the drawing paper. So the drawing paper is over on the shelf, over here by the red table. And I would use the project paper if you're making your own paper puppet. Um, you'll also need scissors and a glue stick. So if we walk by the sink, we will find the scissors in the drawer by the sink. So here's the scissors. And then right next to the scissors is our glue sticks. Also with the paper puppets, you are going to need to use colored pencils to color them. So at the drawing table, in the cabinet below, we have the colored pencils. This is where you're going to grab your colored pencils to color your paper puppet. So you're going to have to go to the drawing center to grab some colored pencils. Then another choice is origami. So we're going to be using the origami paper, which is the square paper. And you can click YouTube. It'll take you to origami papers. Here's the link for the booklet, which is these blue little words. And then if you want to use some of my videos, you'll click these blue little words and it'll take you to my videos that I've made. So here's some examples of origami. Then um, origami, your origami paper is in this cabinet. There is many different sizes and colors, so you can choose kind of what you would like or what you need. Remember, origami paper is square. So you will need square paper most of the time. If you ever need a rectangle paper, you're gonna have to just use the drawing paper that's on the shelf. Then any of your origami creations or paper puppets, if it's the end of art class, you are gonna put those in your folder to keep them safe. And then the last choice is paper cooling. So you'll need to use the cooling paper, the cooling needle, and glue um, to create your paper cooling. If you would like videos on how to make certain paper cooling, make sure you click these blue words by the question mark and it'll take you there. Otherwise, you can um, kind of look up ideas or create your own with the paper cooling. So here are some more examples of paper cooling. For paper quilling, all the supplies are in this cabinet. So we got our cooling needles, some glue, which this is unorganized, um, cooling needles that are right in here. Then there is some glue bottles right next to it. And then all of our cooling paper are in these little blue tubs. Um, when you are working, you can either like glue 
the little pieces to paper if you would like, or if you need a plate to keep all your little quilling pieces, we can get a plate from the sculpture center. So I will show you where that is. So over by the cabinets by the blue table is where the plates are. So here we have plastic plates. You can just grab one and then you can keep our little pieces on this plate and you can put it in the drawer. So your class drawer would be a great spot for that plate. 